All right, so here I am with my demo system. You see my desktop and I have uh, loaded Teleform, so I have Teleform Designer uh, for creating the e-forms on taking existing forms and convert them. I have uh, the Teleform Reader for the processing and I have Teleform Verifier to uh, well show you the result and the received images and forms. So if I move this away and just launch the designer. Within designer let's start with a new document and create a new form uh, just a standard form and say finish here we go and maybe switch off the grid and let's start designing an electronic form using the eForm Suite tools. Now here up in the menu of Teleform you find the eForm Suite uh, menu entry and that shows also for entries, open the shape library, PDF and HTML forms configuration and the data agent. And we will start the shape library and use that to well easily design our uh, trial form here. And uh, let's switch to English and use some of the elements that we typically uh, have and provide as a tool set. So start with some calculations and some, some fields uh, on the form. So here you have just some image zones and some fields and two display messages that shall appear if this balance sheet is uh, odd or even so it shows whether the totals match. Okay, some conditional fields that uh, shall be displayed when you select shipping to address. Then let's uh, for example pick some formatting. Uh, let's take this one here and uh, add a logo if you want to. Here we go, just with the full suite logo so that we use the space that we have. And uh, let's insert uh, another image, uh, so another picture, another page after the current page. And in this case we uh, select uh, for example this one with some mandatory editing and uh, the choice fields some, some some choice fields that you can have some cross field validations on and uh, just to display some further functionalities here we'll pick some well, additional fields for example a signature zone and a uh, image uh, capability to insert an image or take a photo with a mobile uh, with a mobile device. Okay, and maybe end this with a timestamp here at the end. Okay, well that shall be enough for now, and uh, let's save this form and give it a name. Let's say this is the e form on suite suite demo and say okay this is the e form suite demo and the form properties let's switch on generate images for electronic receive so that we have electronic images available in reader and verifier and uh, well it might be a good idea to also set up an export so we'll set up an auto export to export the data with the capture to directory uh, functionality just uh, to the uh, standard export directory that's fine with us okay let's save this here exp exp there we go yes and uh, we just leave the standard setting and enable this export okay save this and now we should have set up everything the way we want now the next step is to well export this either using the menu entry or right mouse clicks export to file and we will export this to HTML uh, in this case using the eForm Suite. Now the eForm Suite uh, job settings come up and I can select which job I want to use. I want to export to IIS and I can show you just the settings, the brief settings here. Um, so output option is HTML, um, I want to have navigation buttons on top of my form, I want to have the capability to import an image, maybe set up a help file, 
I can set up this help file to launch a specific website. That's fine. Okay, um, and I want to use the URL function, not the text function. I want to optimize this form for mobile devices, and I want to include ink signatures. That's all fine. And the data shall be sent through the ASP IIS submit. That's all fine. And I will say apply and export the form. Now, let's give this a name: e form suite demo, and the whole form now gets rendered and displayed. Now here we are, we have the result which is our two page form, page one, page two, we can switch from page to page and uh, we can start filling out. Uh, let's enter some data, fixed asset of hundred dollars, okay, totals do not match, liabilities of hundred and then, okay, totals match, you see the display value here, let's add a shipping address for example and here well, we then can start editing data if we want to. Okay, let's see that works. Okay, let's uh, try the date field picker here. Okay, here we go. Okay, I want to pick this date and I want the field eminent checking here. I want to be called at 12. Oh, let's see, numlock. I want to be called at uh, two. Whoops, numlock. There we go. 12, 12, 88. Let's see. Okay, that causes the validation check-in to come, so only values from 0 to 59. So let's call it 1230, that's fine with me. Page 2. Okay, here we go. Um, I can start editing here, multiple choice, and if I want to add data here, that doesn't work. But if I switch to other, then this field becomes editable, that's fine, that works. Uh, choice field here, if I have a car, if I say no, well then I cannot fill out these fields here. But if I have a car, yes, then I am allowed to select uh, multiple options. Now, if I select all buttons as excellent, well then I'm also able to say, well, would I buy another car? No, I won't buy another car. I will always choose a different brand. That's fine. Here's the uh, signature zone. I can start doing my ink signature. And uh, if I want to, I also can upload my picture and uh, just select the picture and uh, let's see what happens if I press submit. Do we want to submit the data? Yes, I want to. And there the data is received by the server script. It says thank you and let, let's see what happens on the telephone side. So the application that receives the data is the web server and the web server is typically called uh, by the data agent which I just launched and every 10 seconds the data agent searches for new data and grabs data from the uh, web server in this case and hands it over to telephone reader. Let's see where reader is. Okay, reader is here, is processing the data and let's have a look if the data re receives, uh, is received, oh there we go, reload, there we go, eForm suite uh, demo here, the verifier has received the data. Let's view the image. Okay, here the data is. All the things that we have filled out, 1230, that's fine. And I have set up an export as well uh, to export the image into a PDF file. And let's see what the export says. Here we go, export. And uh, with a little luck, here we are. Here is a PDF document with the same functionality with the data that we have just typed in. Totals match, page one, page two. And here we go. The data that we entered and, well, the image is there, signature is there. And in this case, uh, just to show you another functionality of the eForm suite, we have received a PDF form that still is alive and has capabilities to uh, do math. So let's enter some different data here. Totals do not match, so I can work with the data if I want to. And I can, well, still use the same functionalities here within the PDF form. So all the skip and fill logic, the field eminent logics, all those still survive even in PDF format. Well, that concludes this very brief demo. Um, I will now connect my uh, iPad to this and show you, well, what happens with uh, this capability here on page two with the image capability on the mobile device. So see you in a second when I've connected that.